What's up guys, Double Dog Gamer here, and as you've been knowing in the news, they're talking about gun bans again. That bullshit, which also drives up gun prices to insane levels. You can never find them, and they may just get through with a ban. And, you know, I never, I've been spending a lot of time getting pistols, I don't have a lot of rifles. So after some discussion with the Mrs. Devil Dog, um, we had paid off one of our credit cards, and we decided, let's max the fuck out of it. We're talking maxing a credit card. Um, just in case, because if it, anything, say they do end up banning AR-15s or assault rifles, um, you could see the same thing that happened when they banned full autos. The ones that were already owned became grandfathered in, and they jumped from anywhere from $1,000 when people first bought them to upwards of 100 k The price went up insane because they were so hard to find, and the ones that were in circulation were the ones that were going to stay in circulation. There were no others coming. Um, so it just seemed like a smart thing to do while everything was still pretty cheap. We got a cool few, a few cool things. Um, unfortunately, no unicorn guns. Everything was crazy there. Um, the gun store we went to was actually the one where the terrorists tried to buy body armor and stuff. So of course, while we were there, news all over the place. I actually saw myself on the news on like what was it, CNBC or some bullshit. Crazy shit. It was crazy shit. But we got a cool, a few cool things. Um, show you the first one. I'm actually very excited about this. This is a Zenith MP5K clone. Um, you're probably wondering, where's the stock? Well, right now, this is a pistol. This is a pistol. You cannot put a front grip on it. You cannot put a stock on it. Now, what are we going to do this week is I'm going to put Form 1 paperwork to make this a short barrel rifle. Now when I get that Form 1 paperwork, I can take this little back plate, plate off and get a side fold MP5K stock. I also it come, it came with a rail on the top of it, I can put a red dot sight on it. Zenith makes really good MP5 clones because you can't buy MP5s in the US. The only ones that are really available in the US are ones built out of either part kits, clones like this, or the originals, which are all select fire $60,000 plus guns. Um, fully automatics. Zenith bought all the machines from HK that they used to build the MP5s with and literally built one-for-one -one copies. These are as close as you're really going to get to an MP5. Now it's not full auto, it's single shot. I've always wanted one and I said fuck it, why not? You know, it's literally going to cost me a 200 dollars tax stamp to put a stock on this thing and the second I put a stock on this gun the value of it increases by two thousand dollars that's how crazy hard these things are to find and really how rare they are it's people like them a lot so this became one of my it's not a UMP close enough one of my unicorn guns very excited for it but right now it's just a pistol you know you just hold it out call it a day um, once we get the stock on it we'll throw a red dot be good to go be good to go okay so next next one uh, this is the next one I got. This is an LWRC M6IC. It is a 16 inch barrel. It is not an SBR. Um, this thing is pretty cool. I really like it. Direct impingement um, on it. Uh, ambidextrous mag releases plus, plus bolt releases. Oversized charging handle. Nickel boron bolt system. Um, which basically is just a powdering that they put on it to where all I gotta do is take it out and wipe it down with a rag to clean it, literally. Nothing sticks to it. Also put the Trijicon MRO, which is the larger optic um, T1, sort of. Um, and this little funky front grip thing, which I'm not really a fan of. Um, I, I've always liked LWRC. I've wanted one for a while. These guns are on the chopping block. Um, they are gonna disappear if everybody gets their way with it. And even though I got a Mark 18 on the way and I'm still waiting for a stamp for, Mrs. Devil Dog needs some firepower. So this one was specifically gotten for Mrs. Devil Dog, which I think she's going to like. I'll definitely shoot it from time to time. It's definitely a nice firearm. LWRC makes some really good stuff. It is a 5.56 or 2.23, whichever you want to you want to do. It is pretty cool. I definitely like this. The feel of it, even though I'm not a fan of a 16-inch barrel, I do like the feel of this gun. It's definitely going to be something really cool and very awesome. But I like it. Looking forward to doing more of this. And I hear that fucking cat back there too. Fucking asshole. It's because we haven't fed him yet. The next one, I used to own 
a variant of this one and I sold it when times got tough when I got out of the Marines. I've always wanted another one and I saw it and I took the opportunity and pounced on it. This is an M1A Socom 2, um, a U or Socom 16 rather. I used to have an M1A Socom uh, 2 which I sold. That came with an entire giant round quad rail. It was stupid heavy. I liked it. Um, it has a rail on it for a red dot, or I can do a short dot on it. Throw 20 round magazines in it, 762 by 51. Um, it's basically a short 16 inch M14 semi auto. Um, this thing is a beast. Really one of the most accurate rifles you can get in a semi auto variant. Um, this thing's awesome. The only thing I don't like about it is when you put the red dot on it, it'll mount higher and you can get a cheek wheeled. So getting into like a good eye relief with it. Pretty tough. This thing is pretty light though. It's a lot lighter than the um, LWRC, I feel like. It's definitely, it's all polymer stock um, metal barrel. The barrel is definitely, it's very front heavy, um, but it's pretty easy to do. Definitely like it. Pretty excited for it. Gonna get a few 20 round mags for it. Maybe put um, an aim point comp 4 on the front of it right here, or maybe a short dot. I'm not sure. Probably, probably a comp 4. Um, to be certain. Um, yeah, this thing is, is definitely one of, one of my guns. I, I rather, I much would have rather had a, a nat, or super match, but they are really pricey um, and hard to find in gun stores. You have to usually order those because a lot of people don't request them, but this thing is definitely pretty cool. One of my, I really love the M14s, the M14 series, so this was a natural choice for me, but that's all we got. Um, fortunately, maxed out the credit card, so I'll be paying that one off for the next 10 years. Um, but like I said, you know, it's looking bad. It's looking like it might actually happen this time around. So I figured one last hurrah, we'll go for it. Um, but that just means I need to get paperwork in for everything too. Um, got to get paperwork in for the Zenith to make that an SBR. Also the SCAR needs to go as an SBR also. Um, Mark 18 paperwork's all done and in, waiting on that, and then I can go pick it up. Um, and then if we want to put cans or suppressors on anything, this of course will not take a suppressor. Um, that's the next step, but basically pretty done with buying guns for a while guys <laughs> I'm gonna be paying this one off for a long time. unless these things jump up like ten times their normal amount I might just sell them off pay off the credit card and maybe I don't know mod the shit out of my existing stockpile, but um, Yeah, this is it definitely uh definitely gonna do some shooting videos. Hopefully this week I'm thinking this week we can do it um, We'll do a video for each gun um, because we are running out of ammo and I need an excuse to buy more ammo also, which is, those prices are also going up insanely high, but definitely liking this stuff, definitely had a good day at the range, and, you know, if you guys like them, questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comments below. Talk to you guys later. Peace.